Greetings, friend. Chaplain Bob here from Lakeview. I thought I'd make another video and let you know that I'm thinking of you. I don't know if you've been paying attention to the news this past week, but things have been very hard. The aging and illness you are facing is hard enough on its own. But in the meantime, the coronavirus that keeps me from visiting you continues to cause sickness and death. And then on Memorial Day in Minneapolis, George Floyd, an unarmed black man, was killed by a police officer. Rage and anger that had long been simmering just beneath the surface came to a boil with rioting, looting, and fires throughout the Twin Cities and in many other cities throughout the world. While I am safe, and I presume you are safe, we can't help but feel sad and unsettled. We may wonder where God is in the midst of these hard times, but if we pause to think about it, we've been through hard times before. Some of you fought in or lived through World War II, the Korean War, the Vietnam War. Some have known the hard times of the Depression years. You've undoubtedly grieved the death of people you loved. As people of faith, we draw on that faith in such hard times. I remember to the verse from Psalm 46, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. It reminds us that even in the moments when it feels like we're all alone, God comes through for us. Our past experience of hardship and the confidence we have in our faith can help us see through moments of hardship, worry, and suffering. I learned many years ago that it's hard to see the hand of God at work in our lives or in the world as we're in the midst of our difficulty. It's upon later reflection that we can see God at work in the hard times. God can even redeem the hardest times, bringing a good outcome from a bad situation. Let's hope that can be true this time, too. Today, I want to share a prayer I found in the New Zealand prayer book. It is a prayer for people facing great uncertainty. And it goes like this. Let us pray. God of the present moment, God who in Jesus stills the storm and soothes the frantic heart, Bring hope and courage to all who wait or work in uncertainty. Bring hope that you will make them the equal of whatever lies ahead. Bring them courage to endure what cannot be avoided, for your will is health and wholeness. You are God, and we need you. Amen. So until next week, remember that God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Pray for all who suffer from COVID-19 and all who suffer from racial injustice and its aftermath. And for all the people who care, the helpers who are there for you and for all in need. I wish you God's blessing and turn things over to Katie, our music therapist, I thank God for this time with you and hope you are well.